Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? It is your pal Keith here with Clint from Beneath the Embers. We are here live in the live room, not the control room. We're usually in the control room, but today we're in the live room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And, well, what better way to celebrate being in England than uh, this Dimebag signature Razorback guitar with the Union Jack. Good old Union Jack. Um, so... There's only, I think, about two, it's 200 or 400 of these made. This is a new old stock model. Still has the hang tag on it. Still has the plastic on the back cover. Uh, really, really cool. And I think it's the first Razorback demo we've ever done. Ever. So, thanks for sticking around on the channel, guys, and watching this with us. Click like, click subscribe if you're new. And other than that, Clint, talk to me about this Dean Razorback. Are you feeling very patriotic today? I am, indeed. Um, you know, a little story about Dimebag... Um... You know, I was in I was in Bosnia the day that um, Dimebag was shot, and obviously back in them days there was no uh, there was no internet and bits and pieces. So um, we in the British forces have access to a, a, a forces radio channel, and um, and his and his incident made the news out there. So I remember exactly where I was uh, when he unfortunately um, lost his life. Uh, and with us sort of progressive metalheads, you know, he was probably one of the godfathers of, of modern metal. Um, guitar playing and obviously he did that through using a, a, a model such as this um, yeah so man I, I was actually i was in the u.s air force at the same time i remember walking into my my desk and, and going into cnn sorry we had internet there i wasn't yeah. in Bosnia, but uh yeah I, I just saw the it was headline front page news on cnn and i just i couldn't believe it no, absolutely, absolutely devastated and i think if you take you know the dime bad and zach wild friendship you know they were best mates and uh, oh yeah and pieces uh you know both of them so influential in you know modern modern guitar playing and then if you you know you take his brother vinnie joe uh you know vinnie paul sorry um you know such a shame phenomenal there. drummer and, and he's gone too yeah but i mean in the 90s i don't know how it was here in the uk but in the states Dimebag and Zach Wild were on the cover of like every guitar mag. They were on everything. everything. Yeah, same everything. same thing over here. Yeah, you could add Slash to that, uh, and then probably Hetfield and Kirk Hammett, and yeah. then maybe a trickle of Megadeth. There you go. And then you go, and that's that's the nineties. That was the nineties. Yeah, that was the nineties. Yeah, man. So, there we go. So yeah, here you know this this guitar, you know, nice solid construction, you know, um, big body. Yeah, big, big body. case. I for kind these. of. I look, you know, it's, it's great worksmanship on the on the back here uh, with the neck, you know, but it's quite a big profile neck, not f wide, not fat, but 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 wide, quite quite chunky. But in some ways, you know, it um it does remind me of of like the nineties. Yeah. The, the construction of the guitar when you you look at it, um, how it's put together with the wood and how the wood is and stuff, you know, yeah, definitely very nineties esque. Well, I mean, that's probably right around the time he designed it. These came out, I think, in the early two thousands. And then there's a few models that uh, he designed, like the Flying V version of this mm -hmm. that he designed, but never came out while he was with us. But the, the, the Razorback is just, I'm sitting here behind the camera doing these videos uh, all day with you. And the one thing I notice is on camera, this thing pops. It is huge. And if you want to get noticed on stage, my God, this is the guitar to do it. Um... So with the spec, what we've got on this one, this is not the USA one, although it is a like custom limited edition. This is the top spec Korean model. Uh, it does have the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker signature uh, lead pickup, and I think it's got the, the DMT neck pickup with that tape. You actually asked me about yeah, that, dude. You're like, what's that tape for, man? And that is because that's what his guitar tech, I think Grady Champion, is that the name of his tech? Okay. Uh, would put over his actual brid, uh, neck pickups because when he did his crazy dive bombs, the strings would catch on the edge of the pickup. So that's how they sorted that out. Um, but yeah, I got a rosewood fretboard, a razor blade inlay at the 12th fret, and uh, little arrow inlays everywhere else. And then a licensed Floyd Rose. Oh, we should talk about the knobs, too, because this is his famous thing. They call them the speed knobs, and they'd take, like, a soldering iron, and they'd melt little holes along the side just for extra grip. Now you can buy them that way, but that was <laughs> one of his uh, little things. techniques. Yeah. Things, things. So let's, let's hear it, dude. Okay.
lead, uh, Seymour Duncan. What do you notice about that, man? So, um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of sustain on that. The notes are coming through nice and uh, nice and clear. It's actually quite quite easy. So when you're you're strumming away, it's quite sensitive. So it's, it's picking up a lot of, uh, of the finger movements and, and bits and pieces. You've got to kind of try and be as accurate as you can with them. But there's obviously some screaming lead ability in that. Uh, in that, especially for a passive pickup. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But you know, the Seymour Duncan's. This kind of is probably I'd have thought you know before or around the time when they when they do. Um, there's that one that you can turn on, and that's like the sustainer, for whatever it is. Um, oh yeah, I, I think Fernandez does one. The sustain, there's the Sustainiac. I think Jackson did one on the, the Phil Call MPC one model. But yeah, it, it, it's pretty. Yeah, nuts. you engage it, and obviously it just sustains forever. forever. Forever, but that has the same setup as obviously what we've got in here. Yeah, it won't last forever and ever and ever, but it has it has crazy sustain. That's for yeah. sure. Now, how about the uh, the neck pickup? What does that sound like? I don't know. This one, I like to use a bit of clean with neck pickups um, to see how you know. So that's on the neck. That's quite bright. That's quite trebly. So, uh, what kind of occasion would you play this guitar on? We've got Fourth of July uh, in the states, but like, what's the equivalent of the British Fourth of July? The British Fourth of July. Well, because um, over here, I think they call that Happy High Treason Day. <laughs> well, absolutely. <laughs> let's, not, let's not go into politics while we're on, uh, we're on camera. No, I think you know he was famous for his lead work, wasn't he? You know, he's oh yeah, a progressive guitar player. And I think you know this is set up. For ex for exactly that, you know, I wouldn't be using this for just chugging away on some some chords in the background or nothing. This how thing, about weddings? Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe weddings. You know, playing a bit of Blink One Eight Two or whatever. No, you know, th th this is designed to deliver screeching screeching leads, lead work. You know, articulated. Um, picking and bits and pieces. That's what I'd be using this for. It's like having a, a bright red Ferrari or something. This, this thing is to get noticed both it, visually and sonically. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, where can people hear more about Beneath the Embers? So your jump, band. On here, if you're watching this on YouTube, jump across to our channel here on YouTube at Beneath Embers. See loads of videos of us doing uh, doing our thing. Um, if you want to search some socials at Beneath Embers, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or our own website at Beneath Embers. Sorry, beneathembers.co.uk, and then that's got all of our tour dates, all the tickets, through to our online store, all about the band and bits and pieces. So that's where you can find us. Way cool, man. And if you want to buy this guitar, it's on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com, and on Reverb.com. Also, uh, follow us on our socials too, please. It's at Essex Recording Studios, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. Stick around, more cool guitars coming up, and Clint. You've been very patient today, so we're going to reward you with uh, Matt Tuck's personal BC Rich Flying V prototype that Chewing never that made one. it to production. Oh, yeah, you're going to have a blast. And uh, if you look in the corner over there, you can see that uh, Clint has his own signature Vs that are pretty, you know, there's a lot of similarities to Matt Tuck's. So it'll be interesting to A-B them, and maybe, maybe, maybe uh, yours has one up on him. We'll find out. Cool. All right. Later, guys. Thanks for sticking around.